Hello, hello Pisces. Welcome to your December 2018 overview reading. This is good for you if you're sun, moon, or rising Pisces. And if there's anything you need to have come up today, just go ahead and set your intention now. Any answers or information that you're looking for, just invite that in. And... I also want to let you guys know that I have um, added some new stuff to my website and redone a few things, so go check out all of the new services that I have available. Lots of good stuff on there, and it's a new setup and everything, so if you're interested, and let's go ahead and see what's coming up first for Pisces. Conclusions are lethal. Nothing, nothing, nothing is concrete right now in December. So this is going to be a good time to really leave it open. This is not a good time to let your mind run amok and go to all the catastrophic places that it may want to go. This is a good time to really lean on what you don't know, the information that you don't have, the information that you're curious about, rather than coming to conclusions, just to get curious. And the affirmation uh, family card for you, affection. I feel my love fully and express it generously. There is no harm in saying I love you. There's nothing and nothing bad has ever come from a hug. That's a matter of historical record. Go check on it if you'd like. In the meantime, I'll be waiting here with open arms. See where I'm going with this? And don't forget that families defined however you want it to be. So it's not just blood relatives, because not everyone has a healthy or loving family. Um, hi, part of that club. Um, so go, just go ahead and however that feels... Um, right or true for you. It's it's just about focusing on affection however you can. Um, and everyone shows it and expresses it differently, so be open to whatever that is for you. And then we have share tenderness. This also has to do with that um, affection piece. This is communicating the same message. So tenderness is also I would say somewhat synonymous with warmth um, and kindness. So I think that really sharing that, expressing how you feel is going to be a good policy for the month of December. Be more open to that. Um, if you only, It's like Pisces are naturally open to that, but it seems like um, working on that however you can is going to be beneficial. Now let's get into to it. The central energy for December is the world. So things are really coming together for you. Let me see what the crossing energy is. Six of Pentacles. So reciprocity. This feels a little bit like Six of Cups uh, because they're, you know, there's the little boy and the little girl hanging out down there. Um, but it's... This is playing off of the conclusions are lethal. You have this ebb and flow, give and take that's happening and things are really coming together. So the reciprocity piece, the reciprocation in your connections, in your relationships is going to be the absolute best thing that you can put your attention on. It's not just about... Um, you know, what am I getting out of it? It's also, what are you bringing into it? What are you initiating? What are you um, communicating? Ask yourself all of those questions. Look at the full picture of how you're showing up and what you're bringing to the table and what you're receiving. And that's going to give you so much information this month. But let's see what's shifting out for you. Six of chalices. So it's it seems like things were really calm, like there was a, a stillness that you had there for a moment. And the world, this is not a calm card. Um, so it seems like you're kind of going from this, oh, I'm comfortable, into, uh, 
I, mm, you, you know, this isn't a bad thing. It's just about the discomfort in growth, the discomfort in self-awareness, the discomfort in um, new ways of experiencing relationship and interdependency. That's also what this has to do with. No, there's nothing bad about it. It's just that you're growing, remembering, learning, and evolving. And so I think you kind of get you or you get to experience going from the comfort of n not really doing a whole lot or or feeling like there's more of the internal shift because this this also has to do with ooh I'm. I'm just focusing on me or I'm just doing, taking care of my business. And it's interesting because how I said, oh, how funny, this has a six of cups feel and then it pops up. So what's happening is you're going from doing the work on yourself into doing the work in relationship. And it doesn't matter if you're coupled or single or have absolutely no desire for partnership. It It's about relationships. So um, whether they're romantic or not, it doesn't matter. But this is going from you just keeping your side of the street clean to, oh, well, now other people are involved. This is why you have the world coming up, because sometimes baggage intermingles. Sometimes wounding overlaps with other people. Sometimes it gets activated by both people. And so that's where it, the discomfort is at play in relationship because you've been doing so much work on yourself that and that was kind of even no matter how painful it is there's something nice about it being isolated um and not involved with other people and so that this is a whole new can of worms <laughs> that's popping open um because now you have the intermingling of other souls and then the oncoming energy <clears throat> Ace of Wands, gotta love this. I'm gonna clarify this one though to see because it's like the aha, I've got it um, card. This is also a good relationship card if that is something that you're focused on. And <clears throat> then the Hermit. Interesting. Okay. So I think that this is really reflecting, you know, some of the opportunities that you might have being able to balance that out with, okay, expanding into this new territory, this profound space with other beings, and then making sure you're still taking time for yourself and you're keeping your peace contained um, and, and dealing with with your dealing with your peace independently so it's it's kind of that fine balance i think there's um this is so progressive like you're making a lot of progress with whatever work you're doing and so it's just about remembering that no matter where you're at in um your healing process that it's okay to find a balance with how much you're expressing, how much you're sharing with people, how much you need time to process independently and alone, um, kind of figuring out uh, the, the ebb and flow of that. But this is a highly relational spread. All of this looks super, super heavy in the healing. And that's kind of, if you have a lot of Pisces energy, this is what you're here to do. And so... Um, that's where, you know, the balance is really coming into play. Let's see what's going on in the outward manifestation. The Hierophant, having really good boundaries is going to help you. I think that um, routine and ritual is going to be a helpful way to ground yourself and give yourself some support because a lot of the time, if you're heavy in your emotions or processing or doing a lot of healing work, Sometimes that's when you need more regimen and more um, structure, more guidelines, more boundaries. 
Pisces has a tendency to be overly tolerant of certain things or um, kind of nebulous. It's all that Neptune, right? <laughs> so um, remember that it's okay to kind of counter that with something. And the Hierophant is showing this to you. It's like, you know that you can um, help stabilize yourself no matter what you have going on through routine, through ritual, through getting things done. And um, I think that whether it just be a small moment for yourself in the morning or um, an evening routine or maybe just a small thing to carry through the day, um, whatever ritual looks like for you. It can even be something like working out. Like maybe, maybe that is a ritual for you. Leaning on those little, little things to kind of break up activities or start or end your day is going to be such a game changer. In the subconscious, we have the gift. Beautiful. So things are really, I, I think that things are coming to light. Um, you're starting to get a lot more information and see things um, really clearly. And, and this looks like what you've desired, what you've manifested, the, the things that you're having um, come through are created by you. And that's why this is in the subconscious. The things that you're receiving, the gifts that you're receiving are the things that you've created. And I also want to mention, before I get <laughs> people in the comment section losing their mind, um, that is also true for a lot of negative things as well. Um, sometimes, you know, maybe, maybe your soul is on a journey where you really want to feel sorry for yourself. Or sometimes the soul can be on a journey and really want to experience... Um, uh, you know, pain on some level. And I'm not saying that with judgment. I'm saying that as remember that you're autonomous. Remember that you're powerful. Remember that you have quite a bit of control over how things unfold in this lifetime. And that's really what the gift is teaching you or helping you to remember is this is what you are creating. So continue to affirm the things that you would like to see more of and and work with that as best as you can. All right, and the advice for you in December is the Knight of Chalices. Ride the waves of your emotion. That's what the Knight of Chalices is really good at and helps us with. It is like even if things seem really unstable, even if it's crazy chaotic and all over the place, he's he is just out there having a good time, taking it in stride, and this is what you have the opportunity to do. Remember that, and I know I say this a lot, just because you have a negative thought, just because you, um, you know, hear something internally doesn't mean you need to believe it. It also doesn't mean it's going to manifest. It doesn't mean it's going to come true. It doesn't mean that having one bad day is going to continue into a bad year. That's not, that's not necessarily true. And so, um, you can, you can really do a lot of work on that side of things. And so it's reminding you that, that you can ride this out. You can see things through, you can show up in a different way where your life transforms simply from the way you're showing up in situations and in environments and in relationships. External influences in December. We have the tower. I, okay, this has been coming up for so many signs. So if you watch your sun, moon, and rising, you might find that this comes up quite a bit. And it's such a beautiful tower card because there's no destruction here at all. At all. Like nothing about this card is scary or negative. It's simply a matter of perception because you can see the towers hanging out on this cliff and that kind of signals, well, it might seem like things are eroding when they're actually not. 
Um, it, it, everything is still, you have a healthy foundation that's still working for you. You have a lot that's um, playing in your favor. Nothing, nothing is falling apart. It might just be the way you're seeing it. I'm going to clarify this one as well. And you have the moon. So you don't know yet. Conclusions are lethal. And the tower is really helping you with this because it's not, um, you know, nothing, it simply is not, nothing is over like that unless, okay, I will say if you're, if you're like, oh my God, that ex that left me six years ago. Okay. We're not talking about that. Okay. We're talking about things that are happening right now that you're experiencing fear about lean on the unknown. The moon is such a great card for allowing you to shift your thinking and just say, I'm, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know is better than coming to a negative conclusion because there's so much opportunity in the moon. It's like, you're not ruling anything out. If you come to a conclusion, you're ruling out all the good stuff. So help Help yourself by leaning on the unknown, by leaning on things that you're uncertain of. And it's it's just going to pan out so much better if you're uh, skeptical with your own mind, with your own perceptions, because you've been this is heavy healing work and you're really working things out, providing some structure, getting a grip on your manifestations and the things you're calling into your space. It's okay to to experience a little bit of fear, that's normal. But remember, you don't have anything to worry about and be skeptical with those negative thought forms. Hopes and fears. Five of pentacles. So there's a little bit of give up energy coming from this card, like fear of tapping out or giving up prematurely or someone else giving up or tapping out prematurely. And I think this is just... It's just fear. Like, it's not, again, it's not real. It's not happening. It's not, you know, it's, uh, it's something that you can't come to the conclusion. It's not real until you have evidence, until you have um, the, the, like, tangible form of whatever it is that you're looking for. Now, what I will say, and I think that I've mentioned this before, if you have it in your head that something is happening and you've, and you've uh, made it up to protect yourself, because that, that's what happens if you're in a fear picture, a lot of the time you're going to start to behave in a way that evokes that response. So beware of that. That's, it's not something that you want to give a lot of weight to. That's why containing your process is important so you can learn to manage things independently rather than project them onto other people or situations and thus get the very thing that you don't want to manifest. So um, fear is okay. I'm not going to tell you like, oh, just don't be afraid of anything. In reality, you don't actually have anything to be afraid of, but it's like you're a human being. So let yourself contain certain things for yourself, manage um, your emotional processes independently, and that is going to really give you some edge this month. And the outcome for December, four of wands, everything's coming together. It This is like... Um, it, it honestly, this is kind of a white knuckle spread because it's kind of like, oh no, oh no, oh no, no. And then everything turns out fine. It is so remember, oh gosh, it, it just looks like things are really going to improve. Just, just give yourself the opportunity to heal. Give yourself a little bit of leeway. Get, cut yourself some slack. Don't buy into you know, any spiritual nonsense about like being karmically in debt. And that's why you're having all these negative problems. And, 
you know, don't, don't, please like liberate yourself from toxic spirituality and remember that so many good things are available to you and there's not like one path, one direction, one way the things are moving. You're creating that as you go. You're building it as you go and use this energy. You're working through a lot have compassion for that part of yourself, even the part of you that's scared, even the part of you that does want to jump to conclusions, even the part of you that is daydreaming about all the terrible or glorious things that might happen. And watch things unfold without doing anything uh, crazy. This isn't this isn't a good month to like take action or go, go, go. It's it's wiser to kind of like maybe backtrack, reevaluate, slow yourself way, way, way down. All right, my friends, now we're getting into the timeline. If you are new to my channel, hello and welcome. And we're going to be starting here with the first quarter, second, third and fourth quarter of December. So, yes, it's about a week, but it's going to be fluid because it's time. So first thing, this is where you start off magic. Magic has a way of touching the heart and drawing power from the soul. This is the very thing that you're drawing on this month is kind of like your creative ability, your internal magic, your ability to manifest good things. And again, we have the gift sitting in the subconscious. So it's like that that power is accessible to you. And then second quarter, we have change. Expand your flexibility for change and you'll enjoy the vitality of life ahead. You are doing internal processing that is changing. I don't think that Pisces is going to experience a great deal of external change in December. I think that it's more about you having all, all of this, um, having all of these things happen and having your worst case scenario not happen is part of how you remember, oh, that's right. But if all you can do is focus on the worst case scenario and behave in a way that's going to get the worst case scenario and ultimately want the worst case scenario, then you're going to get the worst case scenario. So it's, it's all about changing that part of yourself and remembering all of the the goodness, the kindness, the clarity, the unknown outcomes that that things can unfold in a way that's better than you thought possible. Third quarter, karma. Karma is a universal teacher sending forth lessons from past and present. Again, I like this karmic description because it's not, oh, you owe a debt. Ugh, God. I can't, I can't stand that. It's nothing like that. It's just information. It's just information that's coming through. This is a month of remembering. And wrapping up the month of December, you have nurturing. Keep your inner child nurtured and you will thrive with vitality. This goes in hand with um, the four of wands because that's a like a home comfort nurture card as well. I think that taking really good care of yourself in that respect um, is it, it, you're just going to see so much um, support come from you taking good care of yourself and um, being gentle with yourself. You know, you don't need to get annoyed at, at the part of yourself that wants to come to negative conclusions I know, I know it can be frustrating if you don't have reins on your mind, uh, but it takes practice. So let yourself practice. And any negative thought or feeling that comes up, you can probably trace it back to either a joyful thought or um, a wound of yours, like a way that you're trying to stay protected. Okay, now we're doing a three card pick. So you're welcome to pick as few or as many cards as you'd like. And let's get into it. First thing, we have the Page of Swords. So going off doing things that you've never done before. This is actually reading a little bit like The Fool. 
like, okay, I, I guess I have new ideas. I should probably d use them. And the Page of Swords is really, really good at making attempts. So even if he doesn't know what exactly is going to happen or how things are going to play out, it's, it's about trying anyway. Card number two, we have the Eight of Pentacles. It takes work. Please don't forget that it takes work. Um, it's not something that happens overnight. It's a practice. You have to stay on top of it. You have to find a balance between refocusing, having compassion, and, you know, doing all of those healthy things for yourself, taking adequate time to rest and heal. And, you know, there's, there's a different time for different needs. So it, it's about finding which one works with what. And card number three, we have the Three of Swords, big release month. This is going to be so therapeutic for you. I can tell you that much because what this, this is the white knuckling energy, the oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, I'm so scared, I'm so scared. This is how you're able to release that. This is not, you know, nightmares coming true at all. I'm not getting any of that. Um, this has to do with releasing all of the fear pictures that you have sitting in your body. And that's a lot of work. So if, if this is the card that is resonating for you or the card that you picked, make sure you're doubling down on your resting and that you're taking really good care of your physical body because that's going to be super important for you this month. And yeah, don't this, the, I promise you, I promise you that this is not a reflection of the external. It's just an internal sense of release. Okay, so that's kind of where you're, this entire month is about healing the heartbreak, healing the wounds, he, repairing the things that you have um, experienced, or, you know, early or, or midlife. And so that's how all of this is coming together. So let yourself kind of go through the ebbs and flows of healing because it's not linear. All right, my friends, that is all that I have for you today. Uh, don't forget um, to follow me on Facebook and Instagram. And thank you, thank you, thank you to each and every one of you who work with me one-on-one. -on -one. I cannot tell you how much I appreciate you. Thank you so much. You guys are what make this channel possible. And don't forget, when you work with me, you guys are the thing that makes me able to do these videos. So I can't tell you how grateful I am to each and every one of you. And um, don't forget, check out all of the new stuff on my website. And um, if you just want to support the channel, you're, there's a bunch of ways to do that. There's a link in the description box for that. Um, if you just want to send a comment or constructive criticism or um, if you have feedback or something um, or any number of ways that you want to support the channel, that's down there as well. All of the decks that I've used are in the description box if you want to check those out. And until next time, have a beautiful, beautiful December Pisces, and I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.